welcome back. We are diving right in this morning with the owners of Deep Blue Seafood, John and B. Mitleider. I love you too. Like you're like relationship goals to me. Last time you were here by yourself, and we're like, where's your wife? Because you guys have to be a partnership. And I don't know if people could hear you're like, you are. He was, he was getting scolded right when we came back, but usually he's like, are you ready? I mean, he's so overly like making sure everything is good. With my princess. Uh, yeah, princess, you guys cook with love. That's the secret ingredient. So what are we making today? Okay, today we are making clams with linguine. We get a lot of questions from customers about how to cook shellfish, and we figured, you know what? Let's throw it together and show everybody how pretty easy this is. Okay, mm -hmm. you say it's easy. Right. <laughs> Where do you it, start? <clears throat> it really is. Okay, so first of all, um, you want to get some clams. And when you purchase the clams, you just want to run them quickly under cold water and just give it a quick um, brush. Just, and that's just to get all the sand and, you know, from off the clams, because you don't want that in your meal, otherwise you get that grit. Okay, makes so sense. So basically, got a little bit of olive oil, goes in. I love when you cook, it seems like it's not overwhelming with the ingredients that you use. Yeah, That's kind of no. key with you guys, though. Yeah, try yep. to keep it kind of simple. It's accessible stuff that anybody is familiar cooking with. Well, and honestly, with seafood, I've just found that if you keep it simple, you really get a good taste of the actual fish. Yeah, don't All mask what, you're, yes. the actual, what should mm -hmm. be showcased. Okay, then you know me, I've got to have my garlic. Okay, we're going to give that a quick stir here. <clears throat> Turn that up a little bit. If you need me to help, just let me know. If you could juggle the clams, but it helps, yes. it helps the okay. flavor. Exactly. It mixes the juice in the shell. Chris, like, I'll just start and you just keep throwing more in and right. juggle them up. Okay, and then next what we're going to do is we're going to put our clams in because it's going to take a while for it to get going. So when you say take just a while, how long should the clams be in there? You know, your clams is going to, with clams, it's a little bit different. Once it starts to open, then, you know, give it another, like, two mm -hmm. minutes, yeah. and then your and then good. the meat is nice and firm inside. So a little bit of salt there. You got your uh, clam juice. And then you got clam juice here. Can now, you if you do... from you guys? Yes, oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Yep. yep. Now, if you don't have clam juice, you can use um, seafood um, broth as well. Okay. And Some people do cheat and sometimes use um, chicken. Yeah, oh, in a pinch okay. you can use chicken stock. Yep. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yep. Um, I would advise mm. not to use um, vegetable stock because it is pretty strong and then that, oh. it's kind of overpowering sometimes. So you got that on high, like getting it to a boil, huh? Yep. Yeah, it's getting okay. up to reduce the liquid yep. down a little bit. Now, you know, one thing too I like to do if I'm cooking this for John and I, I will throw in a little bit of white wine just because. One cup in there, <laughs> one cup in here. You know, that's exactly that, how that's, it goes. That's a generous proportion. It Usually is. it's about a third to two thirds. <laughs> She's a happy chef. She is. Okay, then give it a good mix here. Throw in a little bit of crushed red pepper. As you can see, the clams are already starting to open. Now you just want to basically, the key here is just to reduce the liquid to half. So, is that a sign the clams are opening that they're almost done? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, oh. they, they start to some of them start to open relatively mm -hmm. quickly. But you want to after that happens, usually we'll we'll cover it, let them steam for a couple yep. more minutes, and then the rest kind of start to slowly open. Oops. Boy, it smells so good. Yeah, it does. Oof. Now, when you're usually on you or when I've been here and you've been on fish, and I okay, that's outside. But clams, it seems like that could be scary. What if someone comes in and says, "I'd like to try this, but it seems outside of my comfort zone." Does it have to be? This looks pretty easy. No, it's really easy. And a lot of the times, too, um, you know, when we do get that with customers, I would just explain to them. And I'll actually sometimes we'll give them a recipe and say, this is, you know, just try this. It's pretty simple. And, you know, I always say with seafood or with any type of cooking, really, always just start really simple. And then once you get comfortable with that, then you can go to the next level. And if you want, you can start getting, you know, more fancy. But personally for me, I just like to keep it simple and just sit and have my glass of wine. And one of my favorite things <laughs> about you too is like, this is all happening in one pot here. Yes. Because you, you know, don't I don't like washing. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's why I get to do the washing. Nice. She gets the wine, you get the washing. <laughs> yep. yep. That's why you guys are so happy. I it's, know. It's worked for 18 years. Good partnership. <laughs> 
Okay, I think we're going to take a quick break and then show the final product and then talk about something new that you have at Deep as well. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.